All right, so we're skipping the intro and the outro because I don't want to edit this thing. It, it takes a little bit, and it just it's easier for me just to straight upload it. But anyway, it's a channel update uh, for June 2013. This is an important month, all right? This is undoubtedly one of the most important months every year in gaming. The reason is E3 is just around the corner. We have two weeks until the show actually kicks off, until... The companies actually hold the press conferences, so this channel update is going to be a pretty important one detailing exactly what content you uh, should be expecting uh, as far as game releases goes, but also the E3 schedule, alright? So um, let's let's start off with uh, the, first, the, the first thing I'm going to be doing, and that is Remember Me, alright? Remember Me is a brand new IP coming out from Capcom uh, this Tuesday, actually, the 4th. Um, so, what it basically is, it, for the the media played this game and they kind of slammed it. They said, "Oh, it's not really that good," or its focus is all on melee combat and stuff like that. And it's kind of like a shame because this is this was a game I was hyping. In fact, for my uh, 2012 uh, video game awards, I said this that this was one one of my most anticipated games for the year. And I, you all know, I'm a huge fan of cyberpunk and, and future sci-fi and all that stuff. So, this game takes place in the future. Uh, has an odd history because this game has a female protagonist, and the developers, is a, it's a new studio called Don't Nod, they were trying to find a publisher. And every, every single publisher they went to practically said, listen, you can't have a female protagonist and make sales. It's not going to work. We're not going to publish the game for you. So, Capcom, as like their last resort, you know, said, hey, we like we like the what you guys are going with this. It's a cool you know new IP. We'll we'll take the game. We'll publish it for you and blah 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 blah. So this game almost didn't come out um, because of it having a female protagonist, and I kind of feel bad because I mean I, I I don't care about you know the protagonist whether it's a male or female whatever. I just want a great game out of it. All right, and the the typical protagonist in video games is always a white male. You know, white male, black hair, that's like the typical person you see in video games. You, you very, very rarely do you see uh, really any females. And also, uh, like, blacks or Mexicans, you, know, you don't see, like, any of those, like, in, in video games at all. You know, even, uh, even Metro Last Light, you know, you had, you had a Russian protagonist, and you just you don't see that at all. So, in an effort to support, I guess, I, I feel like I'm sort of supporting the female protagonist uh the group, I guess. So I'm buying this game, remember me. It's it's a pretty interesting game. It's third person action adventure where you can actually remix the memories of people and part of the game is you're supposed to remix the memories and change stuff around so that you can get people to kill themselves more or less. So if you make people believe that they actually did something bad and they're really ashamed of it, they could kill their kill themselves as a result. It's a pretty interesting concept. The problem is the media played this game and they said that there's only about four missions where you actually get the remix memories and the whole game is focused on melee combat. And the melee combat's pretty much let's it's like let's take Batman Arkham City and, and allow you to to make your own combos and stuff like that, which sounds fine on paper, but apparently the animations are really stiff. It doesn't flow as nicely, so I don't know. I'm excited for the game because I think the story wise it's going to be pretty interesting. And hopefully the gameplay isn't too repetitive. However, we will see. All right. So I'm picking up Remember Me on the Xbox 360. That means you'll see uh, the unboxing on Tuesday. And I, ha I have no idea what my schedule is this week. Tomorrow, I have a final in the morning. It's my last final. Then I'm, then I'm done. So uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm working tomorrow. I don't know if I'm working Tuesday. And I think I'm going to be going to the Xbox house on Wednesday, which means a day after the unboxing for Remember Me, you guys will see the first impressions and and stuff like that. So that's the schedule uh, for this this coming week. All right, is is remember me when I'm probably gonna have some you know just I I don't think this game's gonna be long at all. It's I'm probably expecting about eight to ten hours, which means I I'm probably not gonna be doing another video. All right, it's just gonna be that first impressions vid. And now, and now another question, you guys may be wondering. All right, you started the Splinter Cell preparing for Splinter Cell Blacklist where you're playing with um, the random videos. What happened to it? Because you uploaded 10 videos, and we didn't see anything after that. We've been having some technical difficulties, all right? Before we, I, was run, I was playing the game on a Wi-Fi connection. That's why the game kind of froze, and it's because me and Dylan were playing it on a Wi-Fi connection. I since upgraded my internet um, to 
25 megabits, a uh, megabit download and a 30 megabit upload, which I still can't believe. So I started using the wired internet. And when we started, when we actually went to go record it again, I guess what's going on is my connection is way too fast for Dylan's connection to keep up. So he gets around seven to 10 megabytes per second, megabits per second, excuse me, um, that he claims. But he's running it on a B and G network adapter on his Xbox 360. Now, his generous friend has offered to give him his wireless N network adapter um, because, you know, I guess he doesn't use it. He just hasn't gotten it yet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep bugging him to get it. Hopefully, we will, because we only have one more mission to do before the whole co-op is done. So hopefully, when he gets that, we, we can record that one mission. It'll probably take about 20 minutes or whatever, and then we can upload the last part of the Splinter Cell Conviction co-op, which is part 11 of preparing for Splinter Cell Blacklist. So that's probably what's going to happen as well this week. I'm going to try to get that up. I'm going to try to you know get everything flowing, and hopefully we can upload that. I can finally say all right, done with that. It was it was a fun series. The co-op's fun, and I actually went, I'm surprised view rise um, view wise. Some of the parts got over a hundred views, and so I, I'm I'm really surprised at it, especially because Splinter Cell Conviction is an old game, but it's also an Xbox 360 exclusive, and a lot of people didn't have the opportunity. Um, you know, a lot of the PS3, PC owners who don't have an Xbox 360 didn't have the opportunity to play the game beforehand. So, that is what is um, going on there. So, after after that, we have E3 week. All right. Now, if you haven't seen my video, um, I was I won a competition uh, being invited for the Microsoft press conference. All right, the the E3 media briefing which is the first press conference held on Monday at 9.30 a.m., all right? Um, I just, I registered, I have the printout, I'm all set to go, all right? I'm also bringing my friends with me, which means you guys, of course, there's going to be videos of me going going there, there's going to be videos of me at the event, um, me me in the event, showing, you know, the, how big the uh, area is. It's at the, Gale, the, I think it's the Galen Center, um, the USC uh, tra uh, basketball stadium place. That's where they're holding it. So um, that that's basically what's going to go on. I'm going to be recording myself as I'm going there. You know, I have all my friends with me as well, so we're going to have like sort of separate commentaries. Um, and I'm also going to be, you know, be watching the event. I mean, taking notes while I'm there as well. And uh, pretty much, you guys are going to be seeing videos exclusively from me going to the event, being in the event, going out of the event, seeing how everything is. And and that, and basically, that's going to be that. Um, there are a couple people who are going as well. I think Angry Joe is also going as um, too, which means, I mean, it'd be cool if I see him. You know, I'd like to get a picture and everything like that. So, but that that's cool. You know, this is an awesome opportunity. You know, people. Some of you might be saying it's Microsoft. They didn't impress us at the at at their you know big Xbox One reveal. And I agree, they didn't impress us at all. Half of their conference was TV and and non gaming services while the other half was nothing but pre-rendered trailers. So they claim, they said, Microsoft said, this whole E3 press conference is going to be strictly about games. Which, I can only hope, because if they go on talking about Kinect for half an hour, you know, it's... I mean, the, the, that, that's the issue, alright? Because... I'm watching all of, all of Microsoft's press conferences right now. I'm watching all the press conferences from 2005 up to 2013, from the start of this generation up to the start of this um, this upcoming next generation. So it's kind of funny because I was watching a clip from Microsoft's E3 2008 press conference. I'm not kidding you. Three minutes in, they were already showing the games. And it was like, what happened? You know, what happened that they just decided, all right, Let's talk about casual bullshit and then go talk about games. Like, what happened? Like, I'm not kidding. Go watch the Microsoft E3 2008 press conference. Within three minutes, I swear to you, they're already showing Fallout 3. And it's like, wow, immediately into the games. So, I can only hope that it's going to be similar to the, um, on this press conference. Like I said, I think the experience itself is going to be amazing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk to people afterwards, but I'm going there. Be I'm going to be in the press conference. There's going to be tons of videos on that. And then after that is Electronic Arts press conference, which is at 1 o'clock. Um, so when we're watching that press conference, I'm not, I'm not going there, right? I, haven't gotten, I, wasn't, I was only invited to Microsoft's press conference because I won that competition. But I'm going to be going home. I'm thinking what I'm trying to work out is I'm going to be going to my friend's house. We're all going to be watching the, the E3, I'm sorry, the, the, the EA, Ubisoft, and Sony press conferences and doing our videos and our thoughts after. So, and also, don't forget... 
the um, next Sunday, yeah, next Sunday, the uh, press conferences are on the 10th, I think. Next Sunday, the 9th of June, I think. I think that's the date. Um, is where I'm going to be doing my, uh, it might even be, I might even do it the 8th, all right? Next weekend, I'm going to be doing my, uh, my my uh, pre E three thoughts. You know what I want to see at at the convention. Um, you know just just ideas and speculation on what what we can expect. What I want to see as well. So that's going to be um, held on that Saturday or Sunday before Monday. Um, what else? All right. Then on the fourteenth we have the Last of Us. All right. The fourteenth is also my birthday. So on my birthday, the Last of Us is releasing. I already have the post-pandemic edition pre-order. That is the $170 GameStop exclusive edition. All right, it's sold out. I think it's sold out within a week or two um, of it being on sale. But I was able to secure it, and uh, I have that on on, on pre-order. So I'm going to be going to the game. I'm going to be bringing this huge box home. I'm going to be doing a huge unboxing for The Last of Us, and it's also my birthday. So if I get some cool stuff, like I actually want a new computer monitor, I'll probably be doing an unboxing of that as well. So it's going to be awesome. The Last of Us, I can't wait to play it. It's one, of, you know, again, it's one of my most anticipated games. It's coming from Naughty Dog, so you know the story's going to be absolutely great. And it'd be great if I can play it on a new computer monitor and everything like that. So that that's that. Oh, and by the way, I do have the Last of Us demo. Uh, my friend Bernie, uh, actually, uh, he he um, suggested that I just rent God of War Ascension on Redbox and then just download the demo, and I'm like. You're absolutely right. It's, it's, so I, I went to Redbox, I rented God of War Ascension, and I downloaded the demo. All right, and it, like two bucks, all right, to rent to rent the game. And I just downloaded the demo. Like it, it was like nothing. So I was able to get the the Last of Us demo on release date, and I played it. I think the gameplay is great. Um, it's really what I really like about it is that it's truly a hardcore survival game. Like you can get killed within four seconds. All right, if you're not careful. And the AI, the AI is really really good. The graphics are, uh, uh, I it's gone to the point where the hardware on the PS3 when they talked about it, you know, it's seven years old, all right. But it's gone to the point where it's just like it, it's too good, you know. It the PS3 is still to this day can pretty much impress graphic uh, visually, and it just it's just incredible. So I can't wait to see what you know in the future for next generation. Imagine what Nine Dog can do like seven years down or five years down with the PlayStation 4. I mean, it's just awesome. So, um, yeah, I did play The Last of Us demo. Pretty awesome. Um, I actually just finished playing it. Again, I streamed it over Skype to my friend. I used XSplit, and I was able to have it stream over a Skype video chat um, over to him, and the frame rate was solid, and, and it looked good and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. You know, you can do that. I didn't know that. So, and it's, it's actually, it also kind of helped me because now I know how to get my PlayStation 3 footage on my, my XSplit device or, or streaming service so that when I stream games, I can't be limited just to the PC. Because before when I was trying to do it, I couldn't do it correctly because I was just, I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to get my component output and have it output on the Avermedia for the stream. But it's good. I figured it out now. Now, I'm going to New York. Uh, this is my first time I'm going to be going to New York, so I'm taking a vacation on the 15th of June, which means I'm going only going to have a, a day to play The Last of Us. I'm not going to be able to beat it, but I'm going to be able to get into it pretty um, pr pretty, pretty well, all right? But I'm going to be going to New York for a whole week, um, and I do have videos planned for you guys during um, during that week, all right? I have two videos planned. One is how, uh, how I make videos. It's basically how I record videos, how I get them up to YouTube, the whole process I do for both the PS3 and the PC using the Avermedia um, game, game Broadcaster HD. And I'm also going to be doing another one for the, uh, game, uh, the Game Capture HD. So you're going to have one where I'm using my capture card and the other where I'm using my internal you know, PC capture card. And you'll be able to see how I record gameplay, what um, settings I use in Sony Vegas to get it rendered properly, and how big the file sizes are, and so uh, and so forth, and and stuff like that. So you're gonna have two videos up on that. Um, I already recorded one of them, so I'm just gonna upload it and have it scheduled to um, upload sometime during the week when I'm gone. And I'm gonna be I have to record the other one, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, schedule it so that sometime when I'm when it comes out or sometime when I'm on vacation, it will release during that week. And then that's it. Now I'm looking at my list here. What else? Oh yeah. 
afterwards, later on in the week, I know Deadpool's coming out. I'm not interested in it, you know? It, it seems like a fun game, but it's just nothing that's going to grab my attention. I'm not into the whole Marvel characters and stuff like that. You know, occasionally, I'll get I'll get a good a good superhero game, like, you know, The Amazing Spider-Man was a pretty good one. But this one just, it, it's not appealing to me. Maybe in the future sometime, uh, I will get it. But this, um, basically, the rest of this month is probably just going to be The Last of Us multiplayer gameplay. The game does have competitive multiplayer, so you'll probably see The Last of Us uh, multiplayer gameplay. Um, depending on how many people like it, um, it depends on the amount of video. So I'll probably do like an hour video where I'm just messing around. If you want to see more, I'll do another video. If you want to see more, I'll do another video. But we'll see. What else? Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Oh, also, um, this Tuesday is actually the release of Limbo on the PlayStation Vita. And I missed the game on Xbox Live. And I, I just didn't play the game. I always wanted to. I just couldn't bring myself to play. I don't, I don't know why. I was just lazy or whatever. So, but it's coming out for the PS Vita, and I said to myself, all right, I'm going to go get the game now, I'm going to finally play it, and I'm going to get it on my PS Vita, all right? So, I think the PlayStation Vita is the perfect platform for indie games, because Telltale said they're releasing The Walking Dead on there, and I missed The Walking Dead, so whenever that gets released on the Vita is when I'm going to be able to play it. Um, but I, I think the platform, the Vita, the Vita platform is perfect for, perfect for indie games. It just, you know, it needs more indie games like Limbo, like like uh, The Walking Dead, and, and so on and so forth. So hopefully they can just get that sorted out in the future. And then that's pretty much it, all right? That's the channel update. So it's a pretty busy week, all right? So remember, remember me uh, unboxing on Tuesday. Uh, remember me first impressions that Wednesday, or depending whenever I go to the Xbox house. That Tuesday, um, as well uh, of the unboxing, you guys will see the first uh, 30 minutes of Limbo, or I'll just do some Limbo gameplay on the PlayStation Vita. Um, the game's old, but this is just going to give me an excuse just to put some gameplay out, so Limbo on the PS Vita. Um, then you're going to see my pre-E3 2013 thoughts uh, on Saturday or Sunday. You guys will see my Microsoft press conference videos that Monday, followed by my Electronic Arts thoughts, my press conference for Electronic Arts, uh, my thoughts after they do their, their, their conference, my, my Ubisoft E3 2013 press conference thoughts, and my Sony press conference thoughts. Um, then, the day, then we're going to do E3 Day 2, uh, or, I'm sorry, E3 Day 1 uh, footage, where basically I'm going to be watching all the streams on online of them showing different games and showing it off, and... Uh, uh, that Tuesday, the first day of E3 when it officially starts is when you'll see that. And then you'll see E3 Day 2 thoughts on, on Wednesday, and then E3 Day 3 thoughts on Thursday. That Friday, the 14th, is going to be my birthday, but you you guys will see The Last of Us post-pandemic edition unboxing. You guys will see, um, like if I get a new computer monitor, I'll do it. I, I already know which computer monitor um, I, I'm going to be getting. I, I don't know if I'm going to get it, but you know I, I know what I, I want, so... That you guys will see an unboxing of that. It's a pretty good one, by the way. Um, then I'm going to be going on vacation. So during that week, you guys will see the, how I make videos, PC and PS3 versions or Xbox 360 versions, two videos on that. After I get back from vacation, The Last of Us multiplayer gameplay, and pretty much we're going to go on from there. All right, guys? So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday for Remember Me. Bye.